You may have noticed the graphics we use in our Met Office forecasts have recently changed. We've refreshed the designs of the headlines, tables, clocks, temperature icons, maps and colour scales. Our previous designs served us well for six years, but we felt it was time for an update. But we didn't just make changes for the sake of making changes. A lot of consideration was put into how people use our forecasts online, in the app and on social media so that we can communicate the weather more clearly and with greater consistency. One key consideration for the update, which took input from a team of designers, meteorologists and presenters, has been a shift in some layout options to allow for better use of forecasts on social media. The new fast-moving intro graphic at the beginning of presented forecasts allows us to give viewers a flavour of the weather before moving on quickly to the forecast. By moving the clock from the bottom of the screen to the top, it will no longer be obscured by the play bar that often appears on movies posted on social media. When viewed on mobile phones, temperature icons are clearer, annotations stand out more. We've already changed some of the colour scales to make them clearer for everyone, but there's still work to do and this is an ongoing project here at the Met Office. To make the maps clearer for everyone in the UK, we've responded to people's feedback and have lost the tilt. And since launching our new designs, we've already responded to viewers' feedback, making some changes to the way some of our graphics are used. We're looking forward to showing off further improvements to our forecast this year. We'll continue working to improve our colour scales to make them as accessible for everyone. We want to start representing more towns and cities across the UK on our maps. And we'll have some exciting new features to play with in Visual Cortex, our weather graphics software. Keep the feedback coming, we'll keep listening and we'll keep evolving.